on Friday, we were protesting the barefoot closures that had taken place actually uh, three years ago at various mile stations around uh, DeKalb and Fulton counties. On Friday, we were at the Decatur station. Uh, we were there because a significant number of the complaints that have come to us had come from patrons of the Mother bus station and the Mother transit station um, because the bathrooms was, a, was truly a hardship on those who were going to Brain Hospital, uh, schools, and children uh, who needed to use the restrooms, and they were closed. The complaint uh, stems also from the fact that the elevators that patrons have to use at that station, that the elevator stench it permeates, permeates the air with urine, and that's a health concern. And we have addressed this issue to the Fulton County Health Department, and today we're addressing it to the DeKalb County Health, health Department. If we don't get uh, the type of results that we want and need for the patients of the system, then we're going to take it further to CDC. This morning, we had discussions at the Montauk meeting, which is our board meeting that held every year at the legislative uh, uh, branch of the capital, at the capital, and there's a specific committee to oversee this model, and today they were reviewing their budget, and they were also looking at their plans and their overview for the next year. Uh, during that time, it was brought out that $4 million would be necessary in order for the, the bathrooms and model to be open at all of the stations, and that didn't seem to be a significant amount of money when Senator Miller pointed out to Keith Parker, who's the general manager of MOTA, that uh, they don't seem to be concerned about a $3.5 million loss at the turnstiles with people are not paying for ridership. So when you look at the $450 million that MOTA has a year coming into the system, you can see that $4.5 million to fund the restrooms becomes an insignificant amount of money. So the question is, why aren't the, the restrooms open? Why do they continue to play around with budgets and, and not having enough money? They answer that question for me today. The bathroom situation in DeKalb and Fulton County do not have to be. They have more than enough, enough money in their budgets to address the issues that they want to address. Today they sit down and talk about increases in uh, fares, they talked about monies uh, that were saved from personnel that's no longer with the system. They talk about uh, ways to increase uh, uh, capital for the, for the organization, but they fail to talk about the most important aspect of their system, which is their patrons, their customers. They have been ignored, and it's, it just can't continue to happen like this. I met with Mr. Parker 45 days ago at Model Headquarters on the 6th floor where he was having a board meeting, and I addressed him then about the concerns of the citizens of, of the Model system. I told him about the health of individuals who, who was catching uh, buses to come into the Decatur station only to have to wait another 10 or 15 minutes to catch the Mahler rail uh, system to go to greater hospitals and other places they have to go. No bathrooms. Again, the problem of elevators being used as bathrooms is not a, an acceptable practice. Men and women uh, darting around up on the trees and bushes to use the restroom should not be. This is a health concern for the entire community. Let me ask you, Nathan Knight, are, are there bathrooms at mortar stations that are closed and that, are we asking them to open? Yes, sir. Uh, the issue is not whether or not we have the bathrooms. The bathrooms were built. When they planned the, the transit system, they had very intelligent people who went around the country and uh, talked to uh, presidents and leaders of other transit systems to find out how they work. And they built bathrooms into the system. 
when 9-11 came and thereafter, they began to use uh, closing of the bathrooms as a security issue. It's not one. 45,000 buildings, governmental buildings across the country have bathrooms in them and none of them are closed. Modern need to step up to the plate, do what is right, and do what is humanly right to open up the restrooms so that all of its citizens can have usage of them. Nathan, you said, you said that, that it would, Marta says it would cost $4 million to open the bathrooms. What, what are the $4 million needed for? Well, the $4 million, uh, I would assume, uh, let me back up just a second. When the bathrooms were closed, there was 44 people who were laid off that uh, helped keep the bathrooms open. Now, the way the model is set up, they have to have a police officer, they have to have a maintainer of the bathrooms, and they have to have um, a person that's in charge of transit uh, just for passengers going back and forth. So you got three people that's in position at each model station that can help oversee the, the opening and closing of the bathrooms and the staffing of the bathrooms. This is not an issue of money. This is an issue of greed. Moderate talk about increasing budgets, not to increase services. Moderate uh, budget talks is about how to increase the coffers, and that money is being utilized for salaries and other things that it should not be used for. If there was a problem of monies, I can, I can understand that. But if Mata was to have an emergency situation today, right now, if there was an emergency situation, they would have money to cover it. Right, right. This is an emergency situation. The people are talking. Health concerns is an issue. Uh, uh, the possibility of diseases and the rail system emanated, emanated to other uh, passengers unsuspecting. This is an emergency, and Mata need to address this issue, and they need to address it now. Okay, um, and, and as an older person myself who uses Mart, I, I fully understand that maybe some of you get younger folks listening to the show may not really understand this issue as well, but those of us who are older, um, we, really, we really can't always wait. But I need to ask you, um, if any of our listeners are interested in finding out more or working with you, uh, Nathan Knight, you're with the SCLC, the South DeKalb chapter, um, what, what would you suggest our listeners to do if they'd like to find out more and work with you? I ask you today to join us at 2 o'clock. We will be in front of the 2424 Piedmont Road address, which is the location of the Models headquarters. We will, we will be there protesting. I would like for you to show up today, as well as every day thereafter at 11 o'clock. Today, 2 o'clock, because there was a special session at the legislature, and I had to attend today. So we had to step the time up to 2 o'clock. But if you're out there... You want to make a difference, you want to be part of a social change that's necessary for all people. If you really have a humanitarian concern about the health and wellness of your brothers, sisters, and your neighbors, then I ask you to come and be with us at 2424 Piedmont Road uh, for the protest rally today. You get off at the Lindbergh Station and just look and hear the noise. That's us over there protesting. Okay, and, and are there going to be protests uh, any other place in the near future? Yes, uh, we protest around the around all the model stations. We will be at Five Points on tomorrow. We ask everyone to come out and give us support at the Five Point uh, station on tomorrow. It's time for the people to involve themselves and let people know. We should not wait until after something is done that seems to collapse our hearts. We can do something to keep us from having heart attacks. Okay, and you said tomorrow at Five Points. Uh, is that at the, the Peachtree side of the Five Points, or, or the? We're, we're gonna be we gonna meet at the Peachtree side of Five Point, and we will be walking around from one side of, of the model station to the other side, letting the, the people know that we care about their concerns. We've heard their concerns, and we're asking model to do something about those concerns. Okay. Open the bathrooms and open those bathrooms now. That's what we are asking. Right, right, right. And uh, they can visit on Facebook at uh, decal.sclc, 
and we have material there that is available to the public. Okay, just so DeKalb.SCLC on Facebook. Yes, sir. DeKalb.SCLC on Facebook. Okay. Uh, Nathan Knight, you're the president of South DeKalb uh, SCLC. We have about three and a half minutes left for this interview. I want to make sure if there's anything else we haven't covered, what, what would you like to make sure our listeners know about? Yes, there does a couple of things. One is that the goals of MATA are to do things uh, cheaper, better, and faster. Well, we know that the trains can move a little bit faster if they gun the engines up. And we know that they can operate better if they get more efficient and, and cut costs and uh, watch our dollars better. But they cannot operate a system cheaper by cutting out services such as uh, the bathrooms. The bathrooms is necessary for all patrons to use and it's something that needs to be addressed by Mauder. I talked with Keith Parker today. I talked to Rylan uh, McClendon, who is his assistant general manager. Uh, today I talked with uh, Senator Miller, uh, Senator Ford, and everyone agrees that the services need to be in place. But the timetable is where the problem is. You cannot wait a year to use a restaurant that you need to use now. And Model needs to open the restrooms and they need to open up now. And I'm asking everyone to come out and give us support today at 2 o'clock. Come over to the Lindbergh station. We're going to be at 2424 Piedmont Road in front of the Model headquarters. And we will be there until uh, 5 o'clock. I ask you to come out and give support. And we got plenty of protest signs. We got pencils and pens if we need more. So come and give us support. Come and help us help you. Okay, and then tomorrow, what time is it outside the Five Points Martin Station? Tomorrow at Five Points, we'll be there at, at 11 o'clock. 11, 11 o'clock outside Five Points. Now, when I met you uh, last week at, uh, outside the, the Cato Martin Station, uh, Civil Rights uh, General Larry Platt, is, is he a, a frequent uh, demonstrator with you? He was there outside the Cato Martin Station. General Platt has been a real, a real soldier. He's been on the streets, donating his time, giving his time for causes all across this, this country with SCLC National. And he's been with us on the campaign with the Pig and Wiggler store. And today he's with us today with the modern protest at 2424 Piedmont. We are the Congress of the National Congress of Black Women Youth Division in Atlanta who's also online with us, the ATU, the unions. We have embraced many of the organizations in the city to uh, step forward, and many of them have come forward, and those are just a few. Okay, Nathan Knight, we have about uh, 45 seconds left. What last thought would you like to leave today with our uh, Radio Free Activist song? We have adults and teenagers that should be addressing this problem. But do you know we have had Mothers with their two, three, four, five, and six year old children stopping and participating in the marches. We've had people with wheelchairs and walking, walking chairs to stop by and help us with this march. They can't use the restrooms at the stations that they are protesting against. It's not right. This is a human concern. It's one for everybody to address. And I'm asking everyone to come out, give their support. Let's get rid of this problem. Atlanta do not need to have a sore spot on its eye like this. This is a black eye to the city. That's right, uh, Nathan. I, I would just add, it sounds like people are interested in, in tourists also. We don't want to, you know, it gives a bad impression of the city if you don't have restrooms accessible for people walking around. Nathan Knight, uh, President of South, uh, South DeKalb Chapter of the SCLC, thank you very much for joining us today on WRFG's Radio Free Activist, the Monday version of the Progressive News Hour. Time now is 12.30, and Carter, you're getting ready. We're getting ready for our third interview. Uh, we're waiting for our third interview.